Ontario's by-elections have come and gone, and the big winner on election night is arguably the NDP. The new Democrats take two of the five seats contested, and now the question being asked is where does the legislature go from here? Let's ask the leader of the NDP right now, Andrea Horvath. You're smiling. Okay, you have good reason to smile. You all did better than many expected. We uh, we had some really good success in London and in Windsor with uh, Peggy Sattler and uh, Percy Hatfield. Uh, we we did um, very well in terms of uh, overall. We had some great candidates. All five candidates uh, uh, were were fantastic candidates for us, and uh, we're we're fairly pleased with the outcome. I talked to Percy Hatfield on the show uh, yesterday, leading up to uh, to the election night. He was very confident. He did tell me, "Look, Anita, a lot of this is really a local issue. Windsor uh, Tecumseh has not done well under the previous situation, uh, so really, he he was taking that almost as a, a Percy win as well. But London West, that is a riding that has surprised many across the board. Not only was it one for the NDP, it was one in a big way." It was, and you know, we uh, we were feeling the momentum on the ground, uh, particularly the last week. Uh, but Peggy Sattler was uh, the right candidate for that uh, for that riding, uh, and that riding as well is not uh, also all much all that much different from Windsor, insofar as you know, job loss is a huge problem mm -hmm. there. The unemployment rate is almost ten percent. Uh, the uh, the folks there were feeling uh, that it was just time for a change, and when they looked at their options, they saw Peggy, who's a small businesswoman, somebody who's uh, been a trustee, somebody who's already. Mm -hmm. Who's got some integrity, integrity, but also has some um, track record as a representative, and and they uh, they saw that she was the person that reflected their values, and and that they could get behind, and we were proud to have her. Okay, so you've got two wins, two by-election wins under your belt. I'd be remiss though if I didn't bring up this point, and it, it really is. A lot of folks are saying this really isn't a win for the NDP. It's basically slapping the Liberals in the face, saying, you know what, you guys and gals with your scandals, please go run, go find a rock and go crawl under it and unfortunately right now we don't have a situation with the PCs where we're comfortable moving in that direction so some are saying it's not about the NDP it's more about the fact that they hate the Liberals and they're not comfortable with the Tories what do you say to that well I mean I think we've done a lot to show Ontarians what new Democrats are all about these days we've uh, shown that we can get things done for them we get results for them we work hard for them uh, and I think that uh, that paid off in last night's uh, by-elections hey, look I think they had a clear choice between uh, Tim Hudak's PCs, which I, I think you're right, people weren't prepared to go there. They saw that he was more interested in, you know, spending time on the sidelines, making a lot of noise, but not actually getting anything done. Uh, and New Democrats, who were the opposite. I mean, we rolled up our sleeves, we got some things done. And uh, and yes, it was controversial. Uh, but uh, what I heard in the by-elections was that people wanted to see uh, some real accountability. We were able to bring that with the new Financial Accountability Office. Uh, and they wanted to see, uh, uh, you know, a party that's focused on on people and on what their issues are as opposed to I'm hearing to a lot about the economy and, and I got to tell you I got a close eye and ear still on Bay Street and you know what they're telling me today and last night and we also had Ray Hurd uh, one of our key contributors on here a big uh, liberal guy uh, saying the worst case scenario for Bay Street, and uh, I mean this with all due respect, is the NDP, you and your friends, potentially coming in and running the province and where we're going to see with an NDP win, a lot of the money, a lot of the foreign investment driving up, drying up. We're already seeing it happen under a premier win and they think it's only going to get worse with the NDP. What do you say to folks on that side who are just scared, absolutely afraid of a potential NDP government running this province? Well, I would say that they, they have nothing to fear whatsoever. We understand uh, very clearly that we need to have a diversified economy, uh, that we need to attract investment. Uh, we, we, we actually have small business people that are part of our uh, caucus right now, uh, but we also want to see a balanced approach. And so I think that, that those two things are not opposite of one another. The thing I hear from business people as well, though, uh, is that they want to see uh, government make decisions that are prudent, uh, that are thoughtful, uh, and that are, uh, are kind of going to be implemented in a way that's, uh, uh, that makes sense. And, and I got to say, uh, NDP governments uh, have had some great track records in, in the country. I mean, we see Manitoba, which has far more productivity investment and a far larger rate of productivity investment than any other jurisdiction, better than Canada, okay. right? Better than Ontario. Uh, we see some uh, some good work being done by by other uh, NDP governments over time. What about, fact, what about your job? I'm almost fact, out of time, but I got to ask you a question. 
I'm way out of time, my producer is saying, but Tim Hudak, not looking too good right now. Is this the time you call an election to get in there? Well, and I'm not making any uh, predictions, but I am saying that the, the government's uh, going to be held to account uh, uh, as we get back into the legislature, and I'm going to take it one day at a time because uh, I know very clearly that there's going to be more negative information coming in. So you're smelling blood, essentially. Well, I'm, uh, okay. I'm going to be doing my job. <laughs> Let's put it that way. All right. Ms. Horvath, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thank All you. Right. That is, of course, the leader of the NDP in Ontario, Andrea Horvath, joining us. Folks,